Hi guys, we are testing for the presence of CA2 positive ions. Here we have a soluble solution of calcium ions and it has a colorless appearance. So now we are going to test for the presence of calcium ions by addition of sodium hydroxide and ammonia drop wise and then in excess. So we start off with sodium hydroxide. We add a few drops of sodium hydroxide to the clear solution of calcium ions and we see formation of a white precipitate. Now we are going to add sodium hydroxide in excess and see whether this precipitate remains or dissolves. So it is clearly visible that the precipitate is not dissolving. So we have formation of a white precipitate with sodium hydroxide upon addition of the solution dropwise and we don't have the precipitate dissolving on addition of sodium hydroxide in excess. Now we are going to repeat the procedure using ammonia. Here we have the clear solution of calcium ions. We are going to add aqueous ammonia dropwise and as you can see there is very little precipitate being formed so in calcium we do get a white precipitate forming but it also depends on how concentrated or dilute our solution is so the calcium ion solution we have is not very concentrated so we are not getting very clear precipitation in the tube in which we added ammonia so there is very slight to no precipitation observed on addition of aqueous ammonia dropwise and if we add it in excess still we don't have any precipitation seen so we can conclude that on addition of aqueous sodium hydroxide a white precipitate form and it does not dissolve on addition of sodium hydroxide in excess so this test can be used as a test for the presence of calcium ions whereas for ammonia we are not getting a proper result on addition of aqueous ammonia dropwise or addition of aqueous ammonia in excess. So no precipitation is observed.